What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. This video is basically, basically, you're gonna go to the gym with me and whatever knickknacks we do before. And that's it. And then me and my friend are gonna work out together and I'm just gonna take you along with me and maybe you could do this workout in the future. Just wanted to show you real quickly my outfit. I recorded a TikTok of like my whole outfit and stuff. Um, so follow me on TikTok if you want to see the whole like shebang thing that I did. Hi over there from the little mirror. Okay. So I like to do cardio in baggy uh, sweaters. So I have my Nike sports bra. Hello, it's black. And then I do my sweet sweatband and then I just like having baggy sweaters. So when I sweat, but I take it off when I lift. And then I have my Lululemons. Yes, me and Lululemon camo favorite aligned leggings ever, ever, ever for leg day. Cause it makes the bum look great. And then my Nike crew socks. Also, I will link my Lululemon aligns down below if you want to go ahead and shop them. They are awesome. I use them for leg days. They're just great. They're just great. And if you wanted to support me, you can use my link through shopping through the Lululemon website and to get these ones. So, and then this is just something I got at the Nike store, Nike store for the crew socks. Um, so if you want me to link them, I'll link them. If not, Yes, yes, okay. I'm gonna go get my pre-workout ready and head to the gymnasium. I have my whole setup here. I have my one up pre-workout and sour gummy worm, but going through that one, here it is. Have my water with ice. This is normally what I take to the gym. I chug this on the way or when I'm already on the Stairmaster and then I have this and I fill it up too at the gym when I finish it. <gasps> and I'm also making a TikTok at the same time. Do you wanna see, do you wanna see what I got so far? Oh wait, I might get copyrighted. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Anyone in there? I'm oh. gonna get in here for like, for like two, two segundos. Hello. So they just opened that. Oh, this is not an angle. <laughs> okay. Hello. So they just open up the sauna back up in the gym and I'm super excited because I love I love sweating. Mm -hmm. That's my friend over there. Um, so we'll be here for like two, three, five minutes and then we're gonna do some cardio and sweat some more and then yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the treadmill, gonna do some sprints. She's gonna go ahead and do the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. Here we go, here we go. Cardio. This is our lifting. Well, this is my lifting attire. <laughs> <We're missing. laughs> let's let's go. Let's let's get this leg day going. Welcome back, everybody, to another leg day video. Here we have me back squatting. Twenty-five plates on each side. I did warm up with the bar. Did fifteen reps there. This is my second set. I did 10 to 12 reps here. You know, you want to start with back squats at a lighter range and then work your way up. I wonder if we'll make it through this summer. Just wanna touch like back when we were younger. Yeah. Why don't you love me, love me, love me? Touch me, touch me, touch me. As you can see, Lily and I added 10 more pounds on my next set. Here I still rep out 10. Yes.
Moving on to our third working set. Here you see me taking off the 25 and 10 pound plates, adding the 45s on each side, which totals up to 135 pounds total. Lily's gonna go ahead and do the back squats first. I'm helping her, I'm spotting her, uh, just to make sure she is getting a deep range of motion and she doesn't feel like she'll fall backwards or anything. She's strong in the movement. This is just more like support knowing someone's gonna be there if anything goes downward but she knows she got it it's just the more so someone is like hyping you up it's there if you can't get up but she got it and then I go ahead and do my third set with 135 and then during all these back squats we are actually supersetting it with a kettlebell deadlift All right, so this is the superset we're actually doing. When one of us is back squatting, the other of us is doing a stiff leg deadlift with a kettlebell with the band. We do some with the band, some without the band. And we're just keeping that tension in our glutes and doing this movement right after we back squat. If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you I still believe so. Don't forget I'm not so far from home Don't forget I'm not so far from home Cause when it's you, my heart feels it too These are the booty builders right here. So as Lily just said in the video, these are the booty builders. This is the accessory movements that I love incorporating after like a good compound. Whether that's a back squat, whether it's a deadlift or hip thrust, I love incorporating accessory movements. So right here we have a band, we have a step up, and we're using the cable rope. So right here we're going to go ahead and do some squats. I did 10 to 12 reps of squats. And then right after you complete those, you go into a stiff leg deadlift, like a Romanian deadlift, like you're just using the weight from the cable to pull you forward and you want to like pull it back with like your hamstrings, your glutes, and like try not to use your arms. That burns. Booty, 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 booty. Some booty? Mm -hmm. The whole booty or half the booty? 
so much you kind of just like let your arms extend and you're using all your like glute power and leg power to like pull that weight back up. I use the step up stool just because it's elevated and it gives me a better range of motion. Next, you superset this accessory movement with another accessory movement, which is the glute kickbacks, the cable glute kickbacks. You do 15 reps each leg. You do both of these exercises back to back for three rounds total. Your glutes will thank me later. I get a lot of questions with this exercise about, you know, how you should be standing like how parallel you should be and what not the way that I'm standing right now the best way I feel it in my glutes and if I'm standing more upwards I really don't feel it in my glutes and I really don't feel my glute muscles working um, so I do lean forward a bit you kind of want to be 90 degrees but I'm a little bit over 90 degrees and also a lot of people ask me do you keep the ankle wrap over your ankles or a little bit higher me personally I tried it out on my ankles ankles this workout and I felt more of my hamstrings working than my glutes my favorite position to put that ankle wrap is actually mid calf or like right behind my knee that gives me it just I feel it more in my glutes more in my upper glutes that's me personally, everyone has a different preference. So obviously you can test it out. You can test out the ankle wrap in your ankles, see what you feel works better. Alrighty, alrighty, we are at the end of the workout. We just have one more circuit to do. Right here we don't need no weights, no cables, no nothing. It's going to be a body burn circuit. So you're gonna be doing 12 alternating jumping lunges and then right after you finish those, you're gonna do 12 jumping in and out squats. And right after that, you're gonna do 12 body weight squats, no jumping, just on the floor, stabilized. Back to back to back, once you've finished all 12 reps with each exercise, then you may rest and then complete that round one more time for full burn effect. Just come. Here we got our post workout meal, which is Dave's Killer Bread. Got some avocado, some sliced tomatoes, everything bagel seasoning. This is the best seasoning ever. And I'm gonna go ahead and make my protein shake. I already kind of started eating and I was like, wait, let me show you guys what I eat to refuel myself. Hello. So, protein shake tip um, when you're kind of in a hurry. So always, always, I have my egg white protein from 1UP Nutrition. You can also use code NAS for 20% off your purchase and also to support me. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I love this one. Um, if your stomach gets bloated after like drinking your protein shake or like plant-based protein shakes or like, you know, I've tried them all, not all of them, but this one does not make me bloated. It doesn't make me feel like heavy or anything and I love it and it mixes so easy. So I'm gonna show you what I did last night after my workout. I look weird like a potato head and I love it. So I shook it up in a blender bottle with a little bit of water, some oat milk, 
This is this is this is the oat milk I use. You see? I blend it up in a little blender bottle. Yeah! Get fancy and bougie. I go ahead and use this little teeny. I wanted to look for sugar-free caramel, but I couldn't find it, so whatever. It's bulking season anyway, so it's okay. And I decorate the glass with caramel sauce all around. And I'm gonna go get some ice cubes. You see that? Pour it in here. Like that. Go ahead. Ooh. 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 Look at that. Ooh. Jess. Um, thank you so much for watching. I had to cut myself off because I was ranting too much. Again, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below if you have any sort of questions. Follow my Instagram. I would love to have you there. I would love to have you here. So subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you know when I upload. I don't have a set date yet. A, a set day of the week. So turn it on so you know when I do upload. And I would love to have you on board here watching and, you know, doing the thing. Doing the dang thing of fitness. Growing ourselves. I want to expand my channel more on like, you know self-development, self-empowerment, woman, woman, womanly things, you know what I'm saying? So I love you all. Take care and have a great rest of your week. Bye, bye.